In news, my wonderful people, it's happening. Unandi Kanu's release, Peter Obi supporters, expresses mixed reactions, alleges conspiracy. Something does not seem to be right. So, my wonderful people, this is what is happening right now. Unandi Kanu's release, you know, has sparked up a lot of reactions. You know, he has been discharged. And, um, you know, what happened is rather there was still mixed understanding in terms of what is really going on and why things are the way they are. Of course, Sonandi Kano has been, you know, in, 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 in their custody for a while. And the reason we cannot really, you know, it does not really make sense because this man has really not committed any offense, so to say. However, Nigerian government has kept him down for a long time. Let's get all the details and understand what is truly happening. The court held that the 15 count charges referred against Onandi Kano did not disclose the place, date, time, and nature of the alleged offenses before being unlawfully extradited to Nigeria, a clear violation of international treaties. The court further says, so the, there, is, uh, there is violation of the international treaty. The court further heard that the federal government failed to disclose where Nandi Kano was arrested despite the grave allegations against him. This is not acceptable and therefore all the words against him were cancelled. Expressing mixed reactions over the release of the IPOB leader, Obi supporters known as Obedient took to social media to express their opinion. The alleged conspiracy theory in the release of Onandi Kano five months to the presidential election. Obedient in a series of posts alleged that Onandi Kano release may be unconnected, may be unconnected to disrupt the 2023 presidential election, especially in the southeast region of the country. This may be to disrupt the southeast region with Biafra agitation. They also allege that Kano's, Kano might have some deals with the ruling of Progressive Congress in a bid to break on Andy Kano's rank in the southeast. An investigative journalist, David, who is one of the staunch supporters of Peter Obi, said Kano's sudden release from detention five months to the presidential election should be something to worry about, especially the opposition party following Kano Kanu's no, ref, no referendum, no election, demanded a pronouncement which, is, which he has made in the last 2019 presidential election for the, for the people of the Southeast that paved way for the re-election of the All Progressive Congress. He tweets, a few months to the crucial 2023 ele 2019 election, Onandi Kanu miraculously surfaced and led a successful election by court in the opposition stronghold. A few months to a crucial election in 2023, Onandi Kano miracle, ca miracles has happened again in the appeal court. This is crucial and something is really fishing. All hands must be on deck. Responding to a tweet by the follower, if Kano should not be released, Mr. David said he Timing of Kano's release is very dodgy. I am saying the timing of this miraculous comeback is a very dodgy last minute. He surfaced five months to the election after supposedly surviving a house snug in Abia. That was brutal that the soldiers even held his dogs. There is something not right. According to him, Kano is yet to explain to his followers how he survived the attack on his country home in Umahia, Abia State Capital 2017, by the Nigerian military in order for President Muhammad Buhari, an order of President Muhammad Buhari. He has still never explained how he survived the escape of the military massacre that followed the siege on his family home in the same Umahia. Over 20 people were shot. Uh, only miraculously, he himself was seen in the walls of Jerusalem one year later. Something is not right. So my wonderful people, uh, we are saying that um, obedience are really not convinced. With regards to Onan the Kano, they feel that there is more to it and that Nigerians should be should pay attention and look more and see how these things are happening. That there is something really not right and that Nigerian government is looking for a way to shadily or you know to just shade the thing and just pretend.
you know you 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 will you will have to understand that something you know is fishing something is seriously fishing in all of this anyway my wonderful people you can see for yourself you can see that you know the things you thought about that you know it may not uh, may not have been are the things that are currently you know keeping us in a very difficult position right now as we speak it is clear that it is clear that something is going on and nigerians every one of us must arise to it and ensure that nobody takes that which belongs to us you see president muhammad buhari and the rest are being strategic you know in terms of what they may be doing however we are the ones to vote and so why you were voting ensure that nobody take advantage of you ensure that your position is maintained and at the end of the day we just want to ensure that our vote counts that's what we are looking out for that our votes count and at the end of the day we get the right candidates because all that is happening right now and all that is going on have clearly shown to us that the Buhari's administration, uh, they have some tricks of their sleeves. And if we want, you know, change to come, we all have to begin to, you know, look at it more critically and more crucially so that we can truly come out of the current oppression being instigated at us by the Buhari's administration. The other people have been leaders. But guess what? Buhari came in and things really things began to i mean things really fell apart so why should we allow such people you know take over our reins of leadership when they are still trying to rule by proxy we can't just allow those things to happen the days upon us have come to show that you and i have got a duty and that is not to allow anyone who you know who has uh, you know any iota of concern for us to be our leader because they don't care they don't care about you they don't. If they do, you will know. They don't care about you. Okay, look at our roads. When last, you know, when last did you see any of them, you know, particularly come out? Asu strike is there. There are other issues that seriously and sincerely need urgent attention. How have these things gone out? And why are we all quiet and pretending that all is well? So you see, there you have it. We can't pick... We can't just go ahead now. We have to really understand what's going on, even in the political terrain. You know, obedience are kind of suspicious of some certain moves. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. God bless. Have a fantastic day from us. It's bye for now. Bye-bye.